Hi, I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and today I'm going to be demonstrating a uh, unique process using the Jelly Arts Jelly Plate. My jelly plate is a little worse for wear, loved. Um, this is what the packaging looks like and when you get one they come out crystal clear and clean. But they last a long time and still work even if they do get dirty. I'm going to put the jelly plate on a piece of uh, birch plywood that I've coated with gesso so that it's um, clean and a nice white surface underneath it. I'm going to utilize leaves from my yard. Also going to start on found paper. So I'm going to start with sheet music and some old um, Atlas index pages. These are some of my favorite papers to print on. And I'm going to be using golden fluid acrylics. They are translucent so you will see each layer through the next and you will see the lines and patterns from our found papers as well. You'll also need a brayer, which is a rolling tool, to spread the paint out in a very thin layer on the jelly plate. So I'm first going to start with my light colored solid and I'm going to use um, Indian yellow. I'm going to put a couple droplets out on the plate. You don't want too much paint. If the brayer is sliding all over the place then you have too much paint. So we're going to do a nice thin layer. And I'm just going to print a solid on my atlas page. You want to make a good contact with your hands, pressing down on the plate. And then we just start with a light colored solid. So let's do that again on a different paper. Use one of the sheet music. The fluid acrylics are translucent, we can still see the patterns through, and I like to start with these light colored solids always when I'm making collage papers with my jelly plate. All right, there we go. So the next step is to go slightly darker in paint color. I'm gonna go with orange, pyrrole orange, which is one of my favorite colors. And then I'm going to take a texture rubbing plate and press into the plate, into the paint. And this is going to remove paint in a subtle pattern. I'm going to lay some of my leaves over that. And bring my prepared light colored solid make a second layer. Now here's where you have to apply a lot of pressure and this is where the squishiness of the plate is very good because we have to press the paper down in between the negative shapes and the leaves to make a good contact. You can check your contact by lifting up and seeing if it's making a good impression or if there's extra paint left on the plate and then you can apply more pressure. So here's our second layer. We have nice the uh, outline of the leaves in orange. And now, the next step is the ghost print. So we have paint now that's been trapped underneath the leaves. We're gonna remove the leaves and quickly transfer that paint to the second side of this paper. And then we get the very subtle second print. So we've got the solid, hard-edged, um, negative space print, and then we've got the soft ghost print. So that's our first layer. You can sort of see the texture plate printing in the orange. It'll probably show up a little bit better in the next darker color. I'm gonna get my same papers ready. I'm gonna try my texture plate again. Here's my second one. Press that in. There's a better impression with that. Then I'm gonna lay my leaves on top again. Shifting the position from the first time, maybe even using some different leaves. And I'm going to layer over my same print from the first time. So again, I'm applying a lot of pressure to get the paper down in between the negative spaces in the leaves. And now we've got 
double layers. You can see the, rub the texture from the rubbing plates, you can see the type from the original sheet, and now we've got leaves that are making masks in different positions. We can continue layering this with darker paints. We could go with a dark blue, and every layer gets slightly darker and is still gonna show through the layer before. So this is the beginning of some beautiful collage paper made with the jelly plate. Our second side. So the, the effect on the right hand side is totally different than the effect on the left hand side, but they're both usable for collage. 